This video series shows how to commission the CPX API EC EtherCAT Remote I.O. with Festo PLC. Learn how to do the commissioning in this video. Note, an application note is available on this topic with complete and detailed instructions. Creating a new project in Codesys. Open the Codesys software. Click on New Project. Select CPX ECEC project. Provide a name to the project. Click OK. Choose the controller device of your choice. Note. Any Festo controller which supports EtherCAT protocol can be used. In this video we are using the controller CPX ECEC -EC M1PN. Select Add EtherCAT Master. Adding a new gateway to the project. Click on the device. Select Add New Gateway. Click on Scan Network to check the connection of the controller. Once the scan is completed, controller will be displayed. Detecting the actual hardware configuration of the controller. Click on CPXE System. Click on Actual Configuration to detect the actual hardware configuration of the connected controller. Click on Scan to check for the controllers connected in the network. Once the scan is completed, the controller will be displayed. Click on Apply. Adding the ESI file of CPX in Codesys. Download the ESI file from the Festo support portal. Open Festo homepage. Search for CPX EtherCAT head module. Download the ESI file. Open Codesys software. Go to Tools. Select Device Repository. Click Install to add the ESI file. Select the ESI file which was recently downloaded. Click Open to install the selected ESI file. Adding CPX devices in Codesys. Right click on EtherCAT Master. Click Scan for devices. The devices connected to EtherCAT Master will be displayed. If they are not displayed, compile and download the project to the controller and scan again. To add the scan devices, Click on Copy All Devices to Project. Compile and download the project to the controller. Double click on CPX API ECM12 to open the Properties tab. Enable Expert Settings.
To configure the update variable, click on CPX API 4 IOL M12. Select Enable 2, always in bus cycle task. Adding the library of CPX in Codesys. Go to Festo website. Enter product name. Go to Downloads. Click on Expert Knowledge. Select and download the app note which also includes required libraries. Click Tools. Select Library Repository. Click on Install. Browse for the library. Click on Open to Install Library. It will be replicated in Installed Libraries list. Double click on Library Manager. Add Library. Select Installed Library. The function blocks of CPX can now be found in Codesys. Process data input monitor and output control. To monitor and control process data, double click the CPX API 4 IOL M12 variant 2 option in the EtherCAT master tree. The window will be opened. As per bit mapping of process data in, the cylinder is in the state out position. Execute move in according to process data out bit mapping by setting true at prepared value. Position changes are seen in process data in, status in bit turns true. Turn off move in bit once execution completed. Execute move out according to process data out bit mapping by setting true at prepared value. Position changes are seen in process data in status out bit turns true. Turn off move out bit once execution is completed. Diagnostics of CPX API. Drag and drop the empty box into the program window. Select CPX API diagnostic from library list. Name the functional block as per your requirement. Enter the values for input variables of functional blocks. Compile and download the program. Enter the EtherCAT address. In this case we are entering hexadecimal value.
execute enable. If an error occurs, the error output will become true and the number of active errors and the module number will be updated. Error description is available in module diagnostics data. In this example we have interrupted AP communication. After fixing the error, execute restart which clears the error in module as well. Now the commissioning is completed.